Hi, I'm Fraser from the National Schools Observatory. In this video I'll explain how to open files with JS9 and to do some of the basic functions in JS9 with the data. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open a file. So we go to File and Open Local File. And I'll click on the top one here, it's a FITS file. And the first thing we see is that it all looks black. It doesn't appear to be any data in there. The data is in there, we'll, we'll drag it out now. So the first thing we can do here is we click on the log button and that brings out some detail. We can see that there are some stars in there, not many, but certainly there's a few. If I click on the left mouse button and drag the cursor to the left, you'll see that more data, more dots and stars start to appear. And the optimum value is probably round about there. There's a little grey or there's a little fuzzy blob in the middle, which is the galaxy host galaxy for the supernova that we're, we're interested in. The next thing we can do sometimes makes looking at files a little bit easier. If we go to color and invert we put black stars on a white or a gray background and that's sometimes a little bit easier on the eye and again using the cursor I can drag it across and that's probably pretty good right there. Um, if we want to zoom in on a particular part of the image we click on zoom plus as you can see we zoom in on the central area if we want to go back out to where we started we go to zoom minus and we get back to there because the image is a lot bigger than what's displayed on the screen we may want to drag the image around uh, you'll be familiar with this with things like Google Maps and the like um, and the temptation is to do it with the left mouse button but we can't do that the left mouse button is for contrast if however we use the right mouse button we should be able to drag the image across. So we can drag it across left and right and up and down and back to the middle. That's everything I wanted to show you in this video. In the next video we'll look at how to do photometry on the images.